Today is Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020, and the box office numbers have come in. The Rise of Skywalker is standing right now at 1 billion 29 million. They need to reach 1.33 to even hang with The Last Jedi. This movie will be lucky to make 1.1. Let's take a look at some of these numbers. All-time domestic, it's ranked 15. With inflation, it's ranked 54. It's third for 2019. Should be first. Should also be first at all time. This is episode nine, The Last Star Wars. It's number 11 for Disney movies. When it came out, it first made, first day, 177 million. And then you can see it quickly dropped off. More than half here. December 20th, 89 million. Almost one month to the day. Today is the 22nd. The Rise of Skywalker can't even make $1 million. $950,522. Total disgrace and embarrassment. Kathleen Kennedy must be fired today. I don't know who wants to defend this movie or thinks that it's making money or that it's doing well, but it's time to wake up, folks. This movie, on its 33rd day, has made under a million dollars. I could end the video right now because that's beyond shameful, but it gets better. 1.029, Rogue One, 1.056, and that's not adjusted for inflation. The Rise of Skywalker can't even beat a side story that half the Star Wars fans don't even care about. Domestic box office, Rise of Skywalker, 495, 189, Rogue One, 532, 177, without adjusted for inflation. The Rise of Skywalker in just days has dropped now to number six. Like two days ago, I put out a video that they were at number five. Jumanji is smacking The Rise of Skywalker. Little Women, Doolittle, are crushing a Star Wars movie on its 33rd day. Let's compare that to other Star Wars movies. On its 33rd day, The Rise of Skywalker hit under a million dollars. The Phantom Menace took 62 days. Force Awakens, 46 days. Revenge of the Six, 36 days. Rogue One, 35 days. Attack of the Clones, 35 days. And The Last Jedi, 34 days. Which is interesting because The Phantom Menace actually had the longest legs out of all of these movies. Rotten Tomatoes, as I reported just a couple days ago, it's at 52%. This has gone up again, and this, the audience score, continues to go up in review numbers. And it's still 886. They're continuing to lie. So let's review. The Rise of Skywalker is the fastest Star Wars movie to make under a million dollars. It is the lowest rated of all time on Rotten Tomatoes. It is now the sixth ranked movie at the box office in 33 days. And it still cannot catch up to Rogue One. It will never catch up to The Last Jedi. So we have literally gone from the first Star Wars in 1977 being the most successful film of all time to the last film in 2020 made by Disney that is the worst of the entire franchise that had 42 years of support, fans, marketing, backing, history, lore, and it is officially the worst Star Wars movie. You are allowed to like this film, but you are not allowed to say that this is a good film. We all have movies that are trash that we like. I myself love the stuff. If you've never seen this movie, you need to see it. But that movie is actually so bad that it's great. This movie is just pure dumpster fire trash. And you cannot deny it because the numbers clearly show that it is the worst rated movie of all time. It has reached under a million dollars in box office faster than any other Star Wars. It is sixth in 2020 under movies like Doolittle. And it can't even catch Rogue One. Never mind the previous installment in the nine episodes. But I just wanted to give you a quick, very embarrassing Disney update. Disney Star Wars is not canon. They have destroyed the franchise, not only by the fandom, but also by the canon. And now the numbers don't lie. It has literally gone from a peak in Hollywood to the very pits of Hollywood. And this is supposed to be a major blockbuster, the end of the Skywalker saga. And they can't even make a million dollars in 33 days. Complete embarrassment. The detailed video is coming soon. Stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. May the force be with you.